Hey guys, so today I'll be going over the best budget PCs under $500 for gaming and for Fortnite in general. These PCs are going to be targeted for people that are trying to stay under that budget of $500 and those that want the maximum performance to get that high FPS and that smooth experience. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright, so first off, we have the STG Auburn Gaming Desktop PC, Intel Core i7, 3.5 gigabytes, la 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 la. So, this PC is pretty good. It's $430 and it's actually on 10% discount on Amazon right now. It has an RX 580, which is not a bad um not a bad GPU and it's pretty good price to performance. It has 16 gigabytes in DDR5 RAM, which is pretty new. It gets it has an i7, which is the second best one from Intel with up to 3. Point, with up to 3.9 gigahertz um of speed. It also comes with a keyboard and mouse if you're interested in that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and it overall has some pretty good specs. Um, it also has a few different options here if you guys are interested for a bit more money and the higher you go, a bit better it gets. Maybe the RAM or the GPU here or the etc. And it'll just get better and better. But sticking to that under $500 budget, this is the PC that we got. It shows here a few some of the um some of the specs about it but yeah as you guys can see in the gameplay right behind you guys um it's you know it, it gets a pretty nice experience and it's overall a solid pc especially for this price to performance budget um and yeah um let's get right into the second pc all right boys so for the second pc we have the dell rgb gaming desktop pc intel i7 3.5 3.4 gigahertz gtx 1660 super 6 gigabytes, GDR6, 16 gigabytes of memory, 256 SSD, and other things. Alright, so as you guys can see in the gameplay, this PC is actually cheaper than the one I mentioned previously, but in my opinion, considering the price reduction, I think it's actually a better PC, and that's why I put it in the second place option. It has pretty much the same CPU, and with a slight upgrade to the GPU, with a GTX 1660 Super, which is actually a very, very solid GPU. The only downside to it is that the storage is a bit less with 256 gigabytes of SSD. However, it does have three terabytes of HDD, which does compensate for it. And even though HDD is old, for just storing just stuff in general, it's not that bad. And so it's pretty much a solid PC as well. And it does come with actually Windows 10 Pro if you're interested in that. And overall, it has very good specs, especially for $400. You know, there's CPUs that cost $400 or um, just GPUs, you know, mid-tier mid GPUs that can cost $400. So an entire PC, and it comes with a keyboard and mouse, if you're interested in that, all of that for $400, I feel like is a very, very good deal. I'll make that deal. How about you, you bitch, you make that deal? I'd make that deal. I don't blame you. Damn good deal. Um, just like the others on this list, However, the first place option is honestly the best one in my opinion, um, but you know it'll be compensated for the price point. So yeah, let's get into the first place option. We have the HP 2023 Victus 15L Gaming Desktop PC, 6 core Ryzen 5600G processor, up to 4.4 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 5 512 gigabytes of NVMe storage, an AMD Radeon RX 6400. Windows 11, um, and some accessories. This PC is the best one by far in the list, and, okay, let me just rephrase it. Not by far, but it's definitely the best one on this list, and it overall has a basically a better CPU because it's way newer, and AMD has some very, very good um, processors as well. The GPU, actually, it, depending, it actually loses out to the GTX 1660 Super, However, it does get compensated by that CPU because that CPU is way newer. And compared to the one that we previously showed, this has, instead of SSD, it has NVMe. And NVMe is actually really, really quick. And it's double the storage. And overall, this is a newer PC with overall newer specs. And, you know, very, very, very budget friendly. And it's a clean PC with a clean aesthetic. It actually comes with a mouse and keyboard if you're interested. And it comes with Windows 11 and HDMI accessories and overall the specs are amazing and as you guys can see the gameplay is also very nice and honestly this is the best PC out of this list that I would recommend 
However, if you're interested and you might have a few more hundred dollars to spend, um, as shown in the previous options, um, you can go slightly above, you know, you can go maybe a hundred dollars more, fifty dollars more, and you can increase your CPU, increase your GPU. That's going to get you a lot more performance. But sticking to the $500, or in this case, $530, these are definitely some of the best PCs out there for this price point and are definitely good to look at. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And all the links for these PCs are going to be down in the description below. So please be sure to check them out. Um, and yeah, hope to see you guys in my next video. And any comments or concerns, be sure to put down in the comment section below. Peace, please.